most cultures have what you would call a siesta time, right? I know my parents grew up in Belize, and Belize was uh, influenced by uh, some European, right? And they would do a nap in the middle of the day. This is how, this is how many cultures do their, live their life. They wake up in the morning and they work real hard, but when the sun is at its peak, they take a nap. And then as the sun is setting again, they go back out and work real hard. I was reading about the Chinese, traditional Chinese, how they do that, because I read some books on traditional Chinese medicine, about how they do that. They say it's very, it's very good, it's very important to take a nap. Uh, like I said, uh, the Spanish have something called siesta, right? And so, of course, you know, Central America, where my parents are from, was very influenced by the Spaniards, the Spanish. So a lot of Mexicans, a lot of Central Americans, they take a siesta. Uh, you know, it looks like you're black. You know, black people take a nap after they eat. <laughs> they call it, what do they call it? You call it the itis. <laughs> yeah, so you, it's okay, you catch the itis, right? You're allowed to catch the itis. And I think that it's, I think that it is helpful to you based on particularly the work that I've read about traditional Chinese medicine. My advice to you would be, number one, don't resist it. Don't resist it. I don't think you need to resist it. In fact, if you resist, you know, have you heard me say, what you resist persists? I think if you resist it, you're gonna give yourself problems that, that you, shouldn't, you don't necessarily need to have. I say, work your life around it. If this is something you've been doing since you was a kid, and this is something that your whole family does, this is something that's probably not just a habit, but it's deeply ingrained in your DNA. It may even be a, a part of your biology, right? A part of your, a part of your her, her, hereditary, you heredit, you, what is that word? Inherited it, you sort of inherited it. So I wouldn't resist it, I wouldn't give it a name, I wouldn't feel bad for it, I would, I would mold my life around it. I would say, okay, I'm a kind of guy that takes naps. And as a result, I work early in the morning, I wake up earlier than most people. Now don't be a slap dick in the morning because you know you're gonna be taking a nap. You say, hey, when the alarm clock goes off, I get up in the morning. And you can feel good about that. Because I know part of the issue is that it hurts the ego, right? Because it's like, man, I'm not supposed to be taking a nap. Successful people don't take naps. That's not necessarily true. Some of the most successful people, what they do is they order their life around their natural tendencies. I was listening to a story. I think it was, the, it was the, in the book, Think and Grow Rich. Check me out. The book, Think and Grow Rich, talked about how Thomas Edison used to hang out with, I don't remember, it was, it was two inventors. He, maybe he was... Thomas Edison and like Henry Ford. I think it was Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. And they used to both live down in Florida because you know they were wealthy guys, so they, would, they had like summer houses or winter houses and they'd come down in Florida. And these guys were brilliant men. They had, you know, you could just think about it, Thomas Edison and, and, and Henry Ford. They had a habit of every day, in the middle of the day, they would go out on a boat with each other, right? No homo, they were just friends. They'll go out on a boat, and they would row that boat out into the middle of a lake, or I think it was the Gulf, actually. They would row, row it out into either the Gulf or Tampa Bay, and then they would just lay down and just lay there. And both of them, according to Think and Grow Rich in his book, both of them would get their best ideas. They would solve problems while they were out in the boat on the water. And he gives all kinds of reasons why water helps you uh, get to the subconscious and it helps you solve problems. He also talks about, I don't know if he talks about this, but I've also heard that a, a relaxed mind, I know this because I've even said this to you guys, a relaxed mind, a rested mind is a fresh mind, is a sharp mind. One of the, one of the fastest ways to derail your success as a man is to lack rest, is to lack sleep. Lacking sleep shuts down ho uh, hormone production, it also screws up neurotransmitters. It makes you foggy, it makes you tired, it makes you grumpy, you make bad decisions. I think you're okay. I don't think you should make this a problem. That's my opinion on that, bro. Done. Did you know that there's a secret psychological and social war on masculinity in the West since at least the 1960s? If you think I'm crazy, you need to watch my new free masterclass. You'll learn the history and origin of this war as well as how it's affecting your health your finances, and how females respond to you. If you're a man who's open to a compelling vision of traditional masculinity, financial freedom, success with women, 
and generous leadership, then you'll definitely want to study this class. It's called Make Men Strong Again, How Millions of Men Are Fighting Back and Winning the War Against Masculinity. Just click the link in this video or visit MakeMenStrongAgain.com and get this brand new masterclass. It's completely free. It will blow your mind and has a ton of value and it's about 40 minutes long. So make sure that you pay attention and take notes. Why am I sharing this? I'm a mentor to millions of men worldwide on YouTube. So I'm familiar with the biggest reasons why men today are failing in so many areas of their life. And the answer will rock your world, but it's not totally your fault. Find out what's really going on. Click the link in this video to watch this class and start taking action today.